Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. <laughs> We called, uh, Sarah called early this morning to the vet and they're able to sneak her in because it's really just for like get in there, do a shot and leave. Yeah, it's so. a routine allergy shot that she's done before. It worked well last year. She actually didn't even have to have it as much this she year. She did not sleep well last night. Um, but yeah, it was a rough night and thankfully they were able to get her in. So basically there's like no, like we can't go in with her. So we're waiting in the car and then they're gonna call. I have my phone at the ready. Um, They'll call and then we'll just. I'll bring her to the side door yeah, and then take her in. I got, we got masks, so I'll put up my mask on and bring her to the side door. They'll take her and do the, do the business and we'll be good. Bye bye. She's gonna get her shot like a good girl. Yes. And she'll feel better. Easy peasy. 12 seconds later. And she's back. She was so pumped. <laughs> but she's back and she's gonna start feeling better. My <laughs> joke, gosh. Ready to go home? She's like, what the heck? Target once again. This is the first time I've seen it in almost two months, but they got it. Thank goodness. Yeah, we actually just ran out. This morning. <laughs> and also, I called down to let him know, but this guy posted. What is it? I don't know if you can make it out, but this is the site layout and plan for, for Epic, Epic Universe. Universe. They just filed permits for, for their construction, and um, permits are always the first thing to, in any, um, theme park building in, in America, they have to file certain kinds of permits to, to get, to be allowed to do the construction and they have to submit naming conventions and structures and what they're going to be and everything. So like, you know, years ahead of even, or months even ahead of them announcing. It's like the first spoilers. It's the fir it's, the first spoilers because they can't lie on these. It's public knowledge, yeah. They can't lie on these forms and it takes some, like, so that means like, Inside the Magic has somebody sitting there like waiting to check the public records to see if Universal filed for anything, if Disney filed for anything, if SeaWorld filed for anything. They wait for the, those companies to file something. It's not like they make a big announcement. No, Universal didn't announce they filed the permits. They just filed the permits and somebody happens to be like checking it once a week to be like, are there any Universal, or Disney, more. or SeaWorld, or more? Um, but this has got like attractions, full service restaurants, quick service restaurants, BBQ restaurant. There's a hotel that's gonna be right attached to the property. Big old fountain, apparently. Uh, Space-themed racing coaster. Oof. And by the way, we dropped Eve off at home. We talked about these errands that we had to run in yesterday's vlog, but basically we just needed toilet paper, pick up medication of mine. Uh-oh. Soap. Soap, we needed some hand soap. And um, now we're gonna go to the P.O. box because we have a couple of thank you cards with stickers to send out to you guys. And then we also have um, just a couple of boxes that have to go out. So that'll be like the rest of the morning, but then it'll be nice. We'll have the whole day to be home. Yeah, we just gotta edit the vlog. Yeah. And then do some other cool little like ditties. We've been home for a little bit. We actually took a nap on the couch. Not as long as our nap yesterday. No, 20 minutes. We've been taking lots of naps. Are you happy or sad? I'm confused. <laughs> Peter Brookhart doesn't take naps very well. You've been taking them. I haven't. So I'm gonna finish editing. I'm gonna go on a run now. I was supposed to go like while she was editing, but she's been editing for a while now. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful Lake Ivanhoe. But, you can tell. So sunny. Sun is brutal, but it is a beautiful day out. Putting in 10 miles today, starting off my May runs very strong. I don't have a goal yet for what I'm gonna do in May. 
definitely gonna top my April 100. But is it gonna be 125, 150, 175? I don't know. But starting off May strong. It's that Florida hot where like the temperature's not so, I mean, it's like 85, but that's Florida. The, when the humidity is not bad, 85 is not bad, but you can tell it's a sun, sun affected weather day when you can't catch your breath in the sun, but then you run through a little bit of shade and you can feel the instant change in temperature. But I gotta finish this run, head home, and enjoy the rest of the, this Saturday. But I feel good. I thought about going out just for six, then I thought about eight. And I said, you know what? Let's start strong. Let's do 10. Plus, Grant called me right when I started. And said he ran 6.5, and I think that's the longest he's ever run continuously. Um, he's run further at times, like during soccer games, he runs way longer, but it's not continuous. So I'll have to call him. I told him I call him when I get done with my run. <sighs> Feels good. Fresh air animals here in Florida. There's a squirrel like following me along this bank. Oh, camera shy. So I am starting dinner. Peter just got back from his run. Um, I just got the vlog all situated, posted and whatnot. Um, we're gonna make kind of like a big salad, maybe have it in some wraps. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of tortillas these days, or really any time actually. Um, so I might just have it as a salad, but it's gonna have chickpeas and cucumbers and tomatoes. I just got this yummy Caesar salad dressing that I'm gonna try. Um, but I also wanted to show you what we got at our peel box today. So our friend Jackie sent us some vintage, awesome. <laughs> they are vintage, Peter. What, how old is something when it vintage? I don't know, I'll look up like what. Vintage, <laughs> yes, um, but these are really cool. I love buttons and I love like Americana, um, just like traditional design. Love them. Also just love Obama in general. Peter was at Grant Park when um, it was announced that he won, so that's really cool, so these are great. And then one of you sent us this really nice little baby care set. I know somebody had reached out to us about sending us something soon, so I gotta go through the messages because um, I didn't see a note, but I really want to thank you. Um, it's really cool. Lots of nice stuff for the baby. Little medicine spoon, thermometer, little snot sucker, nail clipper, toothbrush. So excited. We're going to do our registry tonight and this got us pumped. How was your run? It was really good. It was really sunny and hot. Yeah. And we really didn't prep very well for it today. No, I had a cup of coffee and a monster and like half a cup of water before that and french fries. Not really the best to fuel on for a hot, sunny 10 miler. But you did it. I did it. Got some new girl on. Feel good. We're going to eat a yummy dinner. We're going to eat a yummy dinner. We're going to do our registry for our babe. Is it, so I, I'm, I'm warming up to the idea of calling him Jamie. Jamie? Yeah. I like it too. But we'll, we'll go with the flow. Yeah. She has perked up. She's still a little itchy. It still takes a little bit of time to truly kick in, but she's much more comfortable. And she also really liked all of the veggies she just ate. This is what we got for dinner. Chickpea, tomato, cucumber, red pepper, Caesar dressing with dill. Um, then this is a bowl of just greens and it's up to the eater if they want to make it into a salad. I actually think I'm going to put it into a wrap. Um, but we kept them separate just in case. I haven't been like too into leafy greens recently, but I need to get them in. So that's the main part. And then I just whipped together this like buffalo creamy. No, there's no tomatoes. Um, what else in there? Onion, a little bit of ranch dressing. It's just like a yummy, buttery, spicy pasta for the side. Whoa. Nothing better than downing a bunch of pasta and um, chickpea salad things after a good run. We're going into the nursery. The nur is it a nursery? Or it's just the baby room. Well, I'll put a time stamp right here because we might talk about the baby stuff for a while. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Yeah, if you don't want to listen to that, skip mm -hmm. ahead. So I know Sarah showed this already. But there's nothing more, like, I'm most excited for our babies to be Hello, born. Baby. 
and I'm second most excited for it to use one of these nose suckers on them more than anything else. I can't wait to suck the boogers. I want to try it on Eve. Try it on me. <laughs> Ew. So Sarah's convinced me to use this fangled website called Baby List because you can put like multiple websites in there. But look at she already put three of these bad boys on there. I can't wait. <laughs> If you know the backstory about this, you'll know why I need it. <laughs> I have to find a new place for my sweaty shoe stuff because it currently just dries in the corner of James's room. Okay, what do I don't even know what I to be honest, I forgot we were get we were gonna do a registry ever. So So I just got an email from Babylist saying like Essentials. Yeah, the complete baby registry Let's guide. Do it. Did you guys know I had scoliosis? That's what that scar on my back is from. And I can't sit crisscross because my hips are not aligned. Um, you can't fix that. I mean, it, your hip is one one piece and it's crooked. Um, the only time I ever have pain is when I, I sit like this because then one leg goes completely numb after just a few short minutes. Nice. So I've been bouncing between sitting like this and laying but then I can't lay because my rib cages are kind of jacked up from my scoliosis, and you can't fix those because those are stuck the way they are. Um, but I think we're almost done for today's round yeah. of updating the registry. Yeah. Big you step, like right? Sketchy Mickey Mouse one. I do. We're going trying. We're trying to pick like a good selection of like Mickey stuff, but durable stuff, but like our simplest mindset of like not having so much but yeah. the, the necessary like we things. found a swing that also can be like removed and be like a little bouncer so like instead of getting a bouncer and a swing you could just have one and like some things we went on on like just like everyday use and other things were like well if we make that last this through multiple children it's more of like an investment piece but we need to uh, now transition to not sitting on the floor for my body <laughs> needs and also it's fun doing it in the baby's room but there's is. no furniture in here yes i this keep cute. asking sarah if we can buy the day bed we're going in here we're waiting for one of her invoices for the crib mm -hmm. and then we're waiting for the end of the month for the day bed and we don't have a plan yet for the armoire but we have the armoire picked out right um, I have one that I like, but I'm not 100% set. Okay, so we but we did sure. just get a 10% off from Wayfair, so we might want to prioritize that. Um, but there's a new Netflix movie called Secret Love that we want to watch. Yes. But we also need to do an additional spurt on ACS. By we, I mean... The designer woman. Sarah. Because she's the best. Whoa. That was a good one. I don't even know if we said before, so we started watching Secret Love. Yes. And it is about two women who were a couple from the 40s on until now. Like, and it was incredible just like their life together, but also like what they kept secret. And they spent a large portion of their life in Chicago, which was cool. It's yeah. like old time videos and photos of them. And, and they had so much video footage. It was so cool. Um, um, played, Terry, paid, Terry played for the Peoria, Peoria Red, Red Wings. Wings and the Women's Baseball League. It was such a good film and just like a true story of love is love and it's like their difficult time telling their family and like they didn't tell their family until like at this point eight years ago i think yeah um but also like their different reactions and their acceptance but also their like just like just different like things that came up with the family and whatnot and so it was really good and just a good love story It's on Netflix. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Now it's time to work. But not for too long and not for on stuff that we're not very passionate about. Right. Sarah's going to work on the next spread for the ACS booklet and I have to do my like weekend like data update that I run on the weekend so the team can have I forgot you were doing that. Yeah. <laughs> on May 2nd, the daily message is very short. Done is better than perfect. Cheryl Sandberg. Look at this perfect little baby. I truly don't understand how she is ours and real and this cute. 
And I hope you get a better night's sleep tonight. We've come here to let you know the vlog is over for the day. Do you believe in today's, um... Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in today's message? I've been here. It was, done is better than perfect. Yeah, who says that? Um, a woman with the last name Sandberg. I've heard that before. I like that. Done is better than perfect, yeah. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm having a hard time. Peter just watched me design the spread and like move dots <laughs> a million little pieces yeah. times but i think i agree i'll try to agree <laughs> it's good to be home it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions